In every family portrait, there are people who look great and others who don't. So you take another picture, but again, some are good and others are bad. And then you take another and another and another. Wouldn't it be easier if we could take different people from different images and fuse them together into the best possible composite? A problem arises when you have to specify boundaries or seams such that images merge seamlessly. Traditional image editing packages require manual specification which can often be burdensome and time consuming. We present a different approach for merging images. We start with a set of source images and then paint on regions we want to compose together. A graph cup optimization automatically finds good merging regions and produces a labeling which specifies the source image for each pixel. With this labeling, we create a composite by directly copying the corresponding pixels. We now show a typical interaction with the framework. The interface includes two windows. On the left is the composite window and on the right is the source window. We can look through the set to select a desired image. To create the family portrait, we first paint a rough stroke on the people on the left side. As there aren't any other stroke constraints, the graph cut trivially computes the composite as the image we painted. We then select another image and paint on the kids in the back. The framework finds a region that adds them to the composite without any artifacts. Here we show a visualization of the pixel labeling. Each color represents a different source image. In the interest of time, we exclude the computation time from the examples in this video. Ordinarily, however, the graph code computation is in the order of seconds. The man in the back is now looking away from the camera. We select a better image and paint him in. We continue with the people on the right side of the table. The composite now includes four images that merge seamlessly. We add the people in the back from a different image because one of them looks awkward. And after one final stroke, we're left with a better portrait than any of the originals. The final composite includes five different images and doesn't contain any artifacts. In a similar example, we improve this portrait by replacing the closed eyes. We paint on one eye, and then add the second one. The two images merge without artifacts. We can also use our framework to combine facial features from a variety of people. We select a starting portrait, paint on the eyes of another person, the framework computes a suitable region, we refine the region with more strokes in order to add both eyes, and the images fuse together. Similarly, we add a different mouth. But upon completion, there are distracting artifacts due to skin tone differences. When artifacts are present, the framework provides gradient domain fusion, which copies color gradients from the source images instead of pixel values. The labeling is used to create a gradient composite. We then integrate this gradient field to create an integrated composite. This gradient domain fusion process removes the artifacts. In another example, we improve the lighting on a bronze sculpture. In addition to painting directly on the source images, we can paint with higher level goals or objectives. One such objective is the color brush. To remove the shadow on the wall, we click on a pixel in the shadow region, and a color palette with all the possible source image colors at that pixel appears. We select the desired color and then paint. When we use the high level objective brushes, such as the color brush, the images are ranked, in this case using color and we are presented with a new window which shows the best potential cuts for highly ranked source images. The computed regions are marked in blue. As we scroll through the potential cuts, the composite window on the left shows an overlay of each potential region with the existing composite. We select the best one and refine the region to remove the whole shadow. We select a different color to remove the highlight on the stand. And a distracting highlight on the statue. Next, we use the high luminance brush to add new highlights to better portray the shape of the figure. The final composite uses six images. We can relight human faces just as easily. With this set of portraits under different lighting conditions, and a few strokes, we simulate complex studio lighting. There are minor artifacts that disappear with the gradient domain fusion. With another set of brush strokes, we portray the subject in a completely different light. The halo around the subject's head is difficult to add if one were to do it one image at a time, as there isn't one such image. We use the multi-image brush to paint one stroke, and the framework fills the region near the stroke using multiple images. 
In this example, we create an extended depth of field composite from this set of microscopic ant photographs with different focal lengths. Instead of applying a high contrast objective locally by painting, we do so globally across the whole image. Although the number of source images in the composite is large, they are only small artifacts. After fusing the sources in the gradient domain, all artifacts disappear. In another example, we create a more realistic panorama. Fusing images when creating panoramas can be difficult if moving people are present. The composite includes ghosts and overlapping artifacts. Although in this set of images the camera is moving, with the GraphCut framework we easily remove the distracting elements. In another example, we aim to remove the wires from this mountain sequence. Here we require that the camera move, and after a pre-processing alignment step of the images, we automatically discard the distracting wires in the foreground using a low contrast objective. In a related example, we reconstruct the background of this image set. We keep the camera static, but the motion of the people allows us to use a maximum likelihood objective to remove them. But a few people remain. In this situation, we can modify the computed composite directly. With just one brush stroke of the eraser brush, the residual people are eliminated. Progression in time is often difficult to express in a static image. To visualize this video sequence, we first create a background image. Then we maximize the difference from the background and generate a stroboscopic image automatically. With just a few strokes, we eliminate unnecessary elements. We also visualize structural changes in time with a time-lapse mosaic of the implosion of a building. The framework we present simplifies the process of combining multiple images. Although we have explored a number of domains, we believe there are many more.